The first time I got posted out to Afghanistan was with 51 Squadron uh, in April 2010. Grace was born in March 2012, uh, which was six weeks before Kev was due to redeploy. My second time out in Afghanistan, we were posted to uh, Camp Bastion. Um, on the day, we were due to do a village patrol. Uh, we left the base, um, went up on top of a hill, and then my commander spotted some children off in the distance. So we moved off down this hill and that was it. Next thing I remember, I was somewhere in Camp Bastion, I think. Once we reached the spine unit, um, I think it hit home what the full extent of injuries were and um, what the outcome would be, which was, I'd say, quite a bit of a shock. The RAF Benevolent Fund found me a, a cottage which was 10 minutes from the hospital and that is where me and Grace lived for the three months whilst Kev was in the spinal unit. The Benevolent Fund paid for Kev's parents to come down every other weekend from Scotland. It took off some of the pressure on me because sometimes I needed to put the time into Grace and also I needed to spend the time with Kev because of our relationship and because of what our relationship had been through. The wedding was my primary goal. It was something to work towards. We luckily got a standing frame, um, um, so that allowed me to stand during the vows, which was fantastic. The day was fantastic anyway, but seeing Kev stood has always been the highlight of my day. We decided to raise money for the fund. They've done so much for us, and we just wanted to give something back to them. Uh, we initially set out to raise £5,000. We've currently raised over eight so far, and we've still got a good couple of months uh, when we're finishing with a skydive. I don't really think about how life has changed, to be fair. I think I don't look back, and to be fair, I, I can't remember walking. I did trial a an exoskeleton that was walking and that was the weirdest thing. Just looking down and watching my legs move again was just like, okay, that's weird. I, I don't think of myself anything any different from Joe Bloggs that walks down the street. I just roll down the street and it brings some awesome jokes out, I think. <laughs> but, <laughs>